Hey everybody, this is Yosarin from BoyMeetsPhone.com and this here is the ZTE Z Max Pro on Metro PCS. This is ZTX's latest member of the Z Max line. Their budget-friendly line of phablets. So I'm going to do an unboxing today. This phone can be picked up at Metro PCS right now for $99.99. So I thought it would be interesting to check out this budget-friendly phone. Am I missing any stickers? We didn't not cut through all the way. Yeah, everything's cut through all the way. Now there we go. So we open up the box. We have the ZMAX Pro here. This is a rather large device. The six inch display. See, it kind of eclipses my hand. Very, very large device. I'm going to take the stickers off that in a second. Seeing what's underneath this part, we're going to have in here a SIM removal tool, a SIM card, a quick start guide. All that to the side. We have our USB Type-C port. So this does have a USB Type-C port. So that's kind of interesting to see, especially on such a budget-friendly device. Then we have our USB wall charger. I'm going to take off some of these stickers off the ZMAX. Give me a second. Like I said, this does have a six inch display. It's covered in Corning Gorilla Glass 3. You see on the back, it actually has labels. It has a 13 megapixel camera. It does use digital image stabilization, not optical image stabilization. It's also a fingerprint reader, which again, was a very interesting thing to find on such a budget friendly phone. So I, that's definitely why I wanted to actually get this in to review and check it out. Just because at that price, you're getting a lot of flagship like features. So I just wanted to see what it was all about. So, um, other than the fact that this is very huge, this is actually going to be the first time I've reviewed a phablet. So this is going to be the first time I've reviewed a device this big. And it is very, very huge in my hand. I'm, it's going to take me a little bit to get used to it. It doesn't feel horrible just because of the nice soft touch finish in the back. And I do like that blue. But it's just very large. On the bottom here, we have capacitive buttons for home, back, and recent apps. On this side, we have our micro USB and SD card slot. Let's see if I can zoom in, get that in focus. There you go. There you go. Now it's back in focus. So you're also going to put just where you put your SIM card and your micro SD card, because this does support micro SD storage. On this side, we have our volume rockers and our volume power button. It's nicely placed. Um, so far, it has a nice clicky feedback. I think just because of the size of my hands and this phone, um, I might have a little bit of issue reaching the volume rocker, but we'll see how I fare with a week of use. So let's start up the device. The screen is a full high def 1080p display so we're not talking a quad high def display here let's wait for this to start up inside we're going to have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 617 octa-core processor clocked at 1.5 gigahertz paired with 2 gigs of RAM and a rather beefy 3400 milliamp hour battery so again, for the price, the specs on this thing is not bad at all. So I def this is, again, definitely the reason why I wanted to get this phone in to check it out and give you guys a review because for on paper, what it, you're getting out of this, it seems like a really, <clears throat> sorry, seems like a really sweet deal. So I am kind of excited to give this whirl, um, see how I can, I deal with it and just see how it performs and giving you guys a review on it. Now that we got the phone powered up, let's do the setup. 
I'm going to skip inserting the SIM card for right now. I'm going to skip setting up the wireless network. I'm going to skip this for right now. I'll do all that later. So I'm going to set up the fingerprint sensor. Let's put a pen. Also asking for a secure setup. So I'll put in a pen, just give me a second. Alright, so we put in a pen, it's asking about our notification, so I'll put show off right now. And there's a fingerprint sensor, so I'm gonna So you gotta Touch it, and then retouch it again. There you go. So the fingerprint is set up. And it's asking about the location service. We'll do that. Allow weather. Of course, we want allow weather to access my location. So we're going to lock it and just want to see how the fingerprint sensor. You can actually just simply put your finger on the back of the phone and it will just unlock. So that's pretty cool and it seems pretty actually yeah, that unlocks really fast. So again, I'm really excited to get you know into the nitty-gritty of reviewing this device. So make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as checking out the site to see what's going on with the reveal. I'll be posting sample videos from it soon and pictures during the review period on my Instagram, so make sure to follow my Instagram. Sorry about the cat's tail there. So this has been Yusarin from BoyMeetsPhone.com. Links to everything will be on the bottom of the in the description. So thanks for watching.